Hey guys, it's Carrie Myers, and I'm going to show you what I do to resize my images and get them ready for the web. I'm going to use the same image for Facebook, my blog, and client galleries. Um, before I do that, I like to go and throw my logo on my image. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to go up to image, and I'm going to duplicate this image and resize that duplicate image. So go up to image, down to duplicate and it'll create a copy of uh, this image. Okay, now I'm working on my copy. All right, next, I'm gonna go up to image, uh, down to image size. I'm gonna resize the image for web. You wanna change your resolution first to 72, and then you're gonna change your height and your width. Now, if you have a horizontal image like this one, you wanna change your width to 960. If you have a vertical image, you want to change your height to 960, and the other will set itself. Okay, so since this is a horizontal image, I'm going to change it to 960, and I'm going to hit OK. All right, next you want to bring this up to 100% viewing. All right, we're at 100%. Now we're going to do some sharpening for web. I'm going to go up to filter, down to sharpen, unsharp, mask. Threshold at zero, radius at 0.5. Your amount's going to vary depending on your image. Um, it's going to be somewhere between 40 and 60 percent generally. If you have an image like this one where it's pretty simple, there's not a lot going on, you'll probably be somewhere between 40 and 60 percent. But if you have an image that you've shot, let's say, outside with a family and there's a lot of trees in the background, there's a lot of texture, you're going to want to have your amount closer to 40 to 50 percent. Because if you were to have it at 60 percent, your image would look just very, very sharp. Um, so, you know, play around with your slider between 40 and 60 percent and decide what looks best to you. I'm going to leave this at 50 and you're going to hit OK. All right, now you're This is how it will look when you upload it to your blog or Facebook. Um, you're going to go up to File. Now we're ready to save. So you're going to go to File and you're going to save for web and devices. All right, you want to make sure your quality is all the way up to 100. And you're going to click Save. And then, you know, you can pick where you want to save it. But notice it's saving it as a copy. So it's you'll have the original, and then you'll have your copy, which is your, webs, your web size. Or you can, you know, if you want to change it to web, you can do that too. And then hit save, and you're done. You can upload that image to Facebook, your blog, or your client galleries. All right. Have a good day, guys. See you next time.